Good morning and welcome to the Morning Spotlight. My name is Mike Ham. I'm a sales executive for Fidelity National Title Group. Today we have two guests, Ed Kasparavich and Debbie Stackpole, managing partners at Stonecrest Partners, a financial services firm in Ridgewood, New Jersey. How are you guys doing today? Very good, Mike. Thank you. Good, Mike. I think I lost my big razor like a lot of other people, but... Yeah, you know. me too. Uh, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Stonecrest Partners. So Stonecrest Partners is a uh, full service investment firm. Ed and I are located in the Ridgewood, New Jersey office. We also have offices in Florida, Texas, and Puerto Rico. And when I say um, a full service investment firm, we have a brokerage arm, which is Stonecrest Capital Markets, and we have an advisory arm called Stonecrest Advisors. Ed and I are duly licensed. We work as a team, so we share our clients. And uh, believe it or not, we've been working together for over 20 years in this capacity. We have a diverse group of clients. We have uh, individual clients. They have personal accounts, brokerage accounts, IRA accounts. We work with businesses and their employees on 401k plans. And we also have institutional clients where we work with them on pension funds, welfare funds, and endowment funds. A couple of years ago, we expanded into the real estate you know, arm of the business where we do 1031 exchanges. And we do this through the uh, use of securities that are known as Delaware Statutory Trusts. Excellent. So obviously over the last couple of months, there's been a lot of chaos and confusion. Um, I would imagine you're having a lot of conversations with your clients. I mean, what kind of concerns do they have? Uh, what, have what have you been talking to them about? Yeah, we've been on the phone quite a bit. They've had a lot of concerns, as have we, uh, Mike. Um, I mean, this market came down hard and fast from the middle of February, to probably the middle of March, we're down 35% in the S&P 500. I mean, that's hard and fast. Um, we've snapped back from the lows of that market in the S&P up 30%, which to be honest with you, we're a little leery of. And year to date, the market's down about 12% or so. Short term, we're telling our clients it's going to be a bumpy ride. I mean, how, how can it not be? We have 33 million Americans out of work almost overnight. Right. Uh, unemployment was 3.5%, a historic low, and now it just registered at 15% this past Friday. Looks like it might go north of 20% in the next month. Um, and, and then the questions remain. When will the economy open up? How will the economy open up? Will people show up after that? Will this virus kick in a second wave everyone's afraid of? So really, short term, it's, it's going to be a rocky road. Long term, we think it's going to be a blip on the, on, on the screen, like so many other uh, bear markets uh, during my career, at least. Um, we live in the greatest country in the world. We, uh, you know, God bless America. Our innovation and productivity have never been stronger and, and will continue to go, grow strongly. Um, so long term, we're bull bullish, bullish on America. Great, so uh, you mentioned um, a little bit about you doing some work in the real estate industry. So I obviously work in the real estate industry. People that watch this, some of our guests are all in the real estate industry. So tell us a little bit about your work in, in that uh, aspect of your business. Well, as Debbie mentioned, a bigger part of our practice over the last couple of years has been completing 1031 exchanges for clients. And our responsibility is find the replacement property. And the replacement properties that we use are in the form of real estate securities called Delaware Statutory Trust. And a Delaware Statutory Trust, as the name suggests, is a trust or a legal entity that holds institutional quality real estate, income producing real estate, and governed by the state laws of Delaware. Um, but the most important part, since 2004 IRS ruling, um, these securities do qualify uh, as replacement properties in a 1031 exchange. So basically there are three primary reasons where a DST would come into play. One is for a full exchange. Usually these clients are older clients. They're looking to retire, to downsize. They're tired of the tenants, the taxes, the termites, you know, the, the landlord duties. They want to continue to receive a monthly income off of their real estate. And most importantly, they don't want to you pay the federal government, you know, one third of, of their profit. So we put together a portfolio consisting of multiple DSTs, a diversified portfolio. They can get a full exchange and continue to collect a monthly income. The second area is for the boot, as the IRS would call it. Meaning a client sells their building for $2 million. They find a replacement building for $1,700,000, and they have a $300,000 gap. We can take that $300,000, put it into a Delaware statutory trust, and complete a full exchange. 
And the third one is just a precautionary, it's free insurance. As a client has the option, the simple option is to list three properties to identify. So a client has a property that they, they're interested in using as a replacement, but they list a Delaware statutory trust alongside it. This way, if the client's primary replacement property has an issue, whether it be environmental or for fine in, or they have a problem with financing, they can pull the rip cord and use the Delaware statutory trust as a parachute and avoid an extremely costly I mean, tax problem. Awesome. They basically, you know, we, we have a whole group of, you know, real estate professionals that we deal with in, in this industry. So if anybody has any questions or wants to use us as a resource as to whether there's a fit, you know, we just encourage people just to reach out and start the conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, it definitely seems like a good, uh, good product to use. So I will put our contact info at the end of this. So if you want to reach out to Debbie or Ed, um, learn more about DSTs, learn more about the financial services that they offer, I would encourage everybody to reach, reach out to them. Uh, make sure to check out our Tuesday night virtual happy hours to connect with even more great professionals. Um, Ed's been a frequent attendee. Debbie's got to get to one soon. Um, uh, thank Good. you both for coming kudos. on. Yeah. Kudos to you, Mike. I like those Tuesday night happy hours. I appreciate that. It's always great having you on there. Um, and uh, thank you both for coming on today. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. It. Appreciate it. Stay Absolutely. safe, everybody. You too. Be well. And everybody else, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.